Well, we all know the harsh New Mexico sun is damaging to our skin, but did you know that your eyes are at equal risk for UV damage? In fact, more than 3 million people go blind every year as a result of prolonged UV exposure. And joining us today to talk to, to us more about this is ophthalmologist Dr. David Berninsky uh, to tell us about the importance of eye care, eye care wear, eyewear uh, year round. So, welcome. Good morning. Good morning. It's nice to have you on here this morning. Um, we have plenty of sun in New Mexico, and again, we said it's bad for our skin, but how is it bad for our eyes? And it's year-round, right, that we have to worry about this? Yes, it is. Yeah, we have, we're, we have a particular problem with it here because we're at high altitude. We're at high elevation, so we don't have nearly as much atmosphere filtering. And we get a lot more ultraviolet exposure than people, mm -hmm. say, living at sea level would. Um, but it is true, even on cloudy days. We're getting lots of ultraviolet rays, even though it's not very light. So you, you have to wear your sunglasses and protection mm -hmm. all the time. And of course, the smoke, the dust, the pollen, and, and lately, really, the smoke and everybody's eyes itching and watery mm -hmm. and, and red. And for those of us that wear contacts, I've heard a lot of people complaining about oh, yeah. those contacts, getting them, getting them out in the evenings. Now, is there anything to help with that? Well, you know, really with the smoke and, and when the allergens are really high, the best thing to do is just keep your contacts out. They're just magnets for that stuff and they sort of soak it up and mm -hmm. that's why your eyes get so irritated with them. So using lots of artificial tears, just lubricants for the eye to keep mm -hmm. rinsing that stuff out of there and, uh, and probably just skip your contacts until it starts to clear. And get the glasses back out. Yeah. Now, are there certain groups of people, age groups that are at risk or at a higher risk from damage from the sun with their eyes? Well, interestingly, kids. You know, 90% of the, of the damage, the really bad damage to our eyes that happens to us happens before age 18. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's usually because kids are outside a lot, uh, a lot more than we are once we start working. And uh, they typically don't wear sunglasses or any kind of eye protection. So we should be getting those sunglasses for the kids, that's what you're saying? <laughs> and if you can't get them to wear sunglasses, put a hat on them with hat. the brim. So a hat does help. It's a, it's a huge help. You know, mm -hmm. it really magnifies the effect of the protective effects of the of your sunglasses mm -hmm. uh, and and if you can't wear sunglasses a hat's the next best thing okay and it also protects you uh, your face from the sun damage Absolutely. and the wrinkles and speaking of wrinkles uh, a lot of squinting whenever right. it gets sunny out uh, so it can call for squinting from glares it can cause headache fatigue and nobody wants wrinkles so right. uh, what are some tips for people to kind of maintain just a healthier lifestyle when it comes to that well again the same thing the the, the squinting and everything can be reduced a lot by wearing good dark sunglasses. Mm -hmm. uh, a hat helps with that as well. And, and if you get your sunglasses so that they sort of wrap around and really block the rays that are coming from the sides and fit closely to your face so you don't get a lot of reflected light, that'll reduce that as much as you can. So there are better types of sunglasses for your eyes. I know I, I have some of the big ones, but there right. is like a little bit of a gap so the sun right. gets in here. So is that bad? Well, you know, it's not ideal. It's better than wearing nothing, but mm -hmm. a, a hat would be helpful for hat that. would be helpful. Yeah. Okay, now what are some tips for, uh, some other tips for people to maintain that healthy vision? Well, uh, especially during the summer we're out mm -hmm. in the yards a lot and if you're doing yard work especially if you're working with any kind of power tools lawnmowers edgers uh, hedge trimmers wear good eye protection okay. those things throw off stuff at incredible speed and can cause really significant damage to the eye so that's important what about carrots does that help <laughs> well good nutrition is important you uh -huh. know, and, and carrots uh, you, get, you can get a lot of, uh, of good vitamins out of that but just mm -hmm. taking a good multivitamin that has antioxidants in it mm -hmm. uh, things like vitamin C vitamin E and lutein's Okay. are particularly supportive of, of health of the retina of the eye. Okay. Now you're a well known you're well known in New Mexico for your LASIK services. What other services do you provide? Well we also do other refractive surgery surgeries to get people out of glasses like the implantable contact lens. Mm -hmm. uh, we do uh, I also offer cataract surgery and corneal transplants. Mm -hmm. uh, so you do lots. I do. <laughs> There's I a lot do. going on there. Okay, and um, what about, and you're an ophthalmologist. Yes. Now you hear optometrist, ophthalmologist. Mm -hmm. Is there, there's a, a difference, Well, correct? there is. Uh, an ophthalmologist is a, a medical doctor, an MD. He's uh, mm -hmm. been to medical school, done a surgical internship, and then done a, a three or four year residency in ophthalmology, in okay. surgery, surgery and diseases of the eye. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's the the next tier up then. Right. Okay. Well, um, where can people reach you if they want to, want to come your way? Well, they can call our office, mm -hmm. which is, uh, uh, the number is 323-0800. You can also contact us on the web at bernitsky.com. It's B-E-R-N-I-T. 
S-K-Y.com. Okay, you can see the address right there, 6401 Holly Avenue Northeast, Albuquerque, New Mexico, of course, then the number 505-323-0800, or you can go to his website, www.bernitsky.com. Well, thank you so much for coming thank in you. this morning, Dr. Really Bernitsky. Uh, we really enjoyed having you and some great tips there. And, of course, the sun bright and the smoke out there. So lots of good tips for us. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, coming up next, Vernon's Hidden Valley Steakhouse helps, us, helps a friend out in need.